So yeah, that was good fun. Let's play a couple training puzzles. So knight d7. And I think after a couple of these I'll wrap up or switch to a different game. So we got a pinned knight. I could play bishop h5. Given that I can play a check, a check is probably the answer. In fact, this wins the queen on the spot, so unless I find something better, which I totally am not going to find because I have no other forcing moves. Um, yeah, this has just got to be it. Check. All right, now the question is, do I take the queen or do I have anything stronger? Um, I don't see any checkmate, so taking the queen looks pretty good. Yeah, we're going to take the queen. Okay, now, having won a queen, we have to find the best move for white. You know, that's really important. This is probably where people fail the puzzle, is that either something like this threat or this threat just overwhelms some players who are playing the white side of this. Um, I should just take the knight, right? Okay. Oh, well now my queen's kind of trapped. Or is it? But somehow this is the solution. I didn't... Oh. Okay, so I could do knight takes uh, d5. Or knight b5. Both of which threaten to let my queen back out. If knight takes d5, uh, king takes d5, and my queen's still trapped, right? That's right, yeah? So I have to do knight b5. Which threatens knight to d6. And now we just take here. And now we just take a rook, right? Okay. That was a tricky puzzle. That whole combination at the end with the queen sack is pretty insane. I happen to get very lucky and find the solution accidentally, but I think strong players still could have solved that with enough time and effort. It's a very tricky puzzle.